Ah, you finally arrived. I've been waiting for you. I've lost track of how long it's been, but even to one such as myself, it's been a while. Sitting here, waiting, in anticipation for the last living thing to arrive. Hello, last living thing. I am the end. Don't be surprised that you can't see me. You're not supposed to. No one ever does until it's far too late. But I can see you. Yes, I certainly can. I'm watching you right now, floating in the void, helplessly spinning out of control. Nothing to tether to, nothing to grab on. I could fix it. Would you like me to fix it? Leave you somewhere to stand. Give you something to look at. Fine. Okay. I will. There. Land to stand on. Form to look at. It's weird having a form. <clears throat> okay. You look confused. <laughs> Not where you were expected to be, are you? Were you hoping to arrive on Earth? Is that where you thought you'd end up? It's gone. I destroyed it millennia ago. But of course, you anticipated that. After all, it's been many, many, many years. That's why you're wearing your protective suit. It's the sole thing keeping the empty vacuum from getting inside and snuffing you out. I must say it's ever so tempting to do that. So tempting to fracture the ever so delicate glass of your helmet. I'm sure you have countermeasures in there. Something that'll help pressure your suits until you can seek help. Oh, but there is no help out there. There is only you, and there is only me. Look around you, can't you see it? That's right. There's nothing around us. Nothing. No stars, no planets, just empty, endless void stretching on and on until eternity. I know you might think to yourself that there must be something out there. It can't all be darkness. But it is, my little friend. I made sure of it. But I see you're still confused. Even though I have made things so utterly clear. What is wrong? Have I overlooked something? Perhaps overestimated your intelligence? I'm not sure how I could have. I mean... Given you're a time traveler, one would think that you have a few brains in that helmet of yours. It certainly takes some intelligence to fashion a suit like that, after all. Though perhaps a bit of stupidity to have actually used it. <laughs> yes, yes, I know what you are, my little pets. I've always known. Ever since you and your colleagues first got the idea in your heads to send someone to the end of time I've known. And ever since then, I've been waiting for your arrival. I'm a perfectionist, I suppose. I need to make sure I get everyone and everything. Otherwise, I might as well not have bothered. Don't question my motives, they're beyond you. Far, far beyond anything that little mind of yours can comprehend. <laughs> Just know that I have eradicated everything else that exists. Save for yourself. And once I've done that, I'll be done. I myself will stop existing. Which is what I really want. This duty, you see, it wasn't a choice. Something I was forced into. 
which is why I did it so efficiently. There wasn't a planet saved from my gaze, not a single cell of bacterium left standing once my work was done. Well, nearly done. And now, like I said, it's just you and I. <laughs> There's no point in begging, my little prey. No point in the slightest. After all, even if I did spare you now, you'd still die eventually. Might as well get it out of the way now. Might as well accept what's about to happen. It happens to everyone eventually. You're no exception. There's no point in trying to change my mind either. I've waited millennia for this moment. Your own fault, really. The only reason you've lasted this long is because I feel there needs to be a certain finality to your death. Just snuffing you out by, say, clenching my hand around you. It wouldn't be satisfying. I could have done it the second you arrived here. I could kill you any time I like. But I'm thinking, trying to come up with the best way to go about it. What do you think? Is there a particular method you prefer? Or perhaps a way that you fear? A method that kept you up at night while you were lying in bed, hoping it never comes your way? I take no joy in this. But delving into my prey's mind and finding what they fear most, it certainly brings something out of me. Not enjoyment, but something. So, what do you think, my little fool? Is there a particular method you'd hoped you'd never see? Because if there is, I'd be more than happy to help you experience it. Oh, you little fool. There's no point in trying to escape. There's nowhere to escape to. This is your end. You must accept it. Oh. You're trying to activate your suit and head back to your time. I made sure that wouldn't happen the instant you arrived. And now you're trying to draw your weapon. Pitiful. What would you even use it on? This form isn't real. You can't touch it or harm it. This form is an illusion to ease you. <laughs> and still, even if it wasn't here, you couldn't hurt me. I'm all around you. I am everything. The void itself. You cannot harm what you cannot touch. But I can touch you. I could do so now. And in fact, I think I will. Just to show you the scope of what you're dealing with. So, prepare yourself, mortal. This will be unpleasant. My, how you reel. Did my touch really cause you such pain? I'm not surprised. It is the pain that's been shared by many. For there were many that tried to escape the fate I had in store for them. Cosmic gods, mighty empires, and entire species put so much effort into trying to escape my gaze, but none did. And neither will you. You can see them in your mind, can't you? All the lives I've taken. Numbers so high, quantities so great, they're unfathomable. You must know there isn't the slightest chance you can get home. Because this is it, mortal. You're it. The last being in all of reality is you. Once you're gone, there's nothing. Nothing will remain. The book will be closed. The story of the universe wrapped up. 
and I'll be done. I hope it was worth it. The journey, I mean. I hope you've got what you wanted out of it. Because it's over now, mortal. You have reached the end. <laughs>